Jen Hasbine. I am an Associate Experience Specialist for Majestic Steel based out of Cleveland, Ohio. And as a part of my role, I really focus a lot on not only new associate onboarding, but continuing training, learning, and development for new and existing associates. I really felt that it would be a great fit that the model specifically for my company, um, you know, we're all about innovation. Agile is huge for us and, you know, really evolving and, and meeting our learners where they are. So I thought that it would be a great time to, you know, learn more about it and see how I could actually implement it with my organization. So for me, it was the opportunity to, one, have the hands-on experience, and then the second big part was having the expert coaching that came along with it. So I definitely, you know, I read it. There were still some questions in my mind, and it, it just was nice to be able to, you know, have Crystal on the call, Danielle, Lisa, all, you know, the whole group um, to, you know, hear their feedback about what has worked for them, what you, I could do to improve with the example project that I brought. And then also having uh, the other participants being able to give feedback as well. And, you know, they obviously had different levels of experience with the model. So I would say all of those things, you know, really sold me on it. it it's not just your traditional, like, sit in a classroom session, learn, and then be done. So it is, you know, like the say all the time, like beyond one and done, which I think for us right now, that's where we are. But I think that there's so much more potential with, you know, using the model, having assets in and around and surrounding the learners. And I think it'll just make it our, our learning program at Majestic just a lot more effective. I think we're going to see an increase in like the learning objectives um, you know, like as far as getting those across the finish line and actually seeing the on the job behavior change, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm excited to introduce this model to, you know, leaders of the organization when they do come to our area and say, hey, we have this problem. Because um, I, I feel like by doing this, as opposed to the old way, it's just going to, it's going to make a, the world of difference. I think the biggest one for me, and I shared this with the group too, was that it does not, learning does not have to be or like the assets that we put together, they don't have to be like these huge, expensive, you know, super tech incorporated things to be effective. It might just be a job aid because that is what is best for that specific learner group. I'd say that was the biggest thing for me was just kind of coming to that realization that it doesn't necessarily have to be that my organization is spending more money to be effective. And I, I keep telling my boss who is, is I, I work most closely with her, but we keep like having like these moments of like, oh my gosh, it was so amazing. Like, I just can't, I am so glad that I was able to sign up and attend. I would say mostly one and done. Um, since reading the book, I have tried to implement like some, you know, extra things here and there. I just feel like now I have a better grasp of, of how to do it now that I've actually done it with that guidance. So I, I think we're going to make some pretty big progress with that in the future, focusing a lot more on social, which I learned through the workshop, you know, is a lot more effective than we give it credit for, which people don't really think of that as learning, but it hundred percent is. So, so just, I mean, learning through other people at the organization, learning through peers, you know, through social media outlets or like forums, that kind of stuff. So yeah, not something that we've done a whole, I guess that's not true. We have done it at our organization. It's just not been like in a uh, consistent manner, I should say, and then also not in a like well-documented or well-planned manner. I, th I think we could do a way better job of that, which I'm excited to bring to the table. I mean, obviously we would see an increase in training that is effective and that works. I think we would see probably less formal, like, you know, sitting in a classroom, which I think we can all agree there certainly is a time and place for that. But I think that it's oftentimes kind of beaten to the ground. And like, that's kind of all that we know, or at least maybe speaking just for myself, like that's kind of all that my organization has known so far. So I think maybe getting away from that 
focusing a lot more on social, which I learned through the workshop, you know, is a lot more effective than we give it credit for, which people don't really think of that as learning, but it 100% is, so. There's definitely people who are looking or maybe struggling with making, you know, significant progress at their organizations with learning. I would say the would be the best fit for people who are, you know, in that innovative mindset and are ready to break away from that traditional model. Because if your mindset's not there with it, then it's going to be hard to, to fully commit and see the results that are intended. I would say make the jump and, and attend, even if you're on the fence about whether it could be something that is useful or beneficial if you're just learning about it for the first time like attending the the workshop and the practicum I think will change people's minds and so I, I definitely would recommend this to anybody that I meet who may be new to the industry or just you know how can we make this better or just maybe even the people that are skeptical too thank you so much I seriously like had the, had the best time and I'm not just saying that because it's on tape right now like learned so much, a very, very valuable experience and probably my favorite learning experience that I've ever been a part of in my professional career. So thank you. <laughs>